Here we go. Hello, friends. This is Low Rate Hitman. What I got today is a little special commentary that I told you guys I was going to bring you. I've got a couple good tank drivers for you guys. You guys want to introduce yourselves? This is Ted Nugent, uh, OG from STB, longtime member. Uh oh. Who, whose tank am I in right now? Lurch. All right, my name is Lurchosaurus, guys. Nice to meet you. I am also uh, an STB member. Um, I've been with STB since before Corpse were even around in Dust, so I guess you could say I'm an OG from Dust. Um, we're both tank drivers, and we're here with uh, Larry Hitman to just kind of do a little bit of a commentary to help out some of the new guys uh, figure out tanking a little bit, because dust can be a little uh, hard to gather sometimes, so lower it if you want to take it off. Basically, basically what a lot of people are on my channel, there's a lot of veterans that are on the channel, but then again, there's a lot of people that are new to the game and they want to get into tanking, and I uh, just kind of first want to go over, you know, what, what are some things that people need to get into to get into tanking? Well, or skilling um, or SP? The first thing that people need to know is that there are two types of tanks. There's armor and shield tanks, and they play very differently, uh, you know, the higher level you get. And uh, predominantly, shield tanks are typically faster, um, and armor tanks are slower just because as you put on armor plating, it slows you down, similarly to uh, infantry. So the play styles are a little bit different. Um, armor tanks typically are seen as a brawler tank, up close fighting, taking a beating. Uh, their, their armor reps regenerate a lot faster, um, and shield tanks uh, are typically more of a sniper fit, more of an assault tank, kind of hit and run type of tank. Um, and one of the things that shield tanks have over armor tanks is that their shields have a passive regen of about 20, uh, I think it's like 24 shields per second which is pretty good because uh, armor tanks don't have that. So, so me, again, so that let me ask kind you of real quick, uh, what do you suggest somebody, if they're just starting off in the game, how they need to get into tanking? What is a good route that they need to try? Well, to start out, if you're not really sure what you want to do, you got to decide whether or not you want to go shield or armor tank. Uh, and that's, that's the biggest decision, honestly. If you choose one, you're not going to regret it later. It's like, oh, I picked the wrong tank. They're both really good. And uh, to a good tank driver, they're equally as effective. Um, but once you choose what type of tank you want to play as, um, you need to start working on your skills, and you can't deviate from your plan. You need, to, you need to work on your skills, and don't be stupid with your SP, because tanks require a lot of SP. Um, I wouldn't worry too much about you know, specking into HAVs first. Uh, the militia tank, while they aren't the best, uh, they'll definitely hold you off for a while while you get a couple of your modules up. Um, you got an orbital already team, not mean to interrupt you. Roger. Um, ooh, nice orbital. Um, modules are very important. Other defend on the other tank. Roger. Modules are very important for tanks. Unlike infantry, where uh, getting the next tier of weapons or, or uh, drop suit upgrades, they only have slight uh, differences in your stats. It, it, it really matters for tanks. Um, you know, a proto tank, you know, with its mods, will have thousands of HP over a non-proto tank. And it'll do hundreds, maybe even thousands more damage than an unmodded tank. So, you know, again, it, modules make a big difference. And it doesn't matter how good you think you are in your tank with your skills. If you don't have uh, your skills and your mods up, um, you just most of the time will have no chance against the tank that is, I guess, just a better tank than you as far as the stats are concerned. So um, that is one thing to, to keep in mind. Uh, so when you this question. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> you're on a roll yeah. right now. I don't want to interrupt yeah. you. Go ahead. Um, when you're starting out and you're, you're trying to start putting your uh, skill points into uh, selected skills. Uh, it's important to, I guess, start out, um, get at least level one in uh, armor upgrades and uh, armor resistance um, for armor tanks, and then shield uh, upgrades and shield uh, resistance, I believe, or shield hardeners, or whatever it is. 
so that you can get your resistance mods and you can start putting on armor plates and shield extenders. Because those two types of mods right there are going to be very beneficial to the survivability of your tank. Uh, on top, of, uh, especially since militia tanks come stock with a militia repper. Um, so it's kind of good for your SP at the get-go. But um, one of the first things I did building my tank was uh, get level one uh, large hybrid turret. Um, the increase in damage is phenomenal. Um, if you're hitting guys, you'll take them down much, much faster. But then also, uh, militia uh, large turrets require a lot of resources as far as CPU and PG is concerned. Um, and so once you get rid of that, you'll open up a couple hundred PG and a bunch of CPU, which will in turn help you equip more mods on your otherwise empty tank. Um, we have a strike. And then, uh, two, you know, once... Two orbitals already, guys. Two two orbitals already. I mean, and the, the round has just started, basically. Well, it hasn't really started. They've, they've put a pretty big dent in these guys already. But go ahead. I didn't mean to interrupt you again. <laughs> yeah, no, no, it's fine, man. Um, you know, again, you know, we're, we're here to help. So if you want to say anything, you know, go right ahead. Um, but uh, once once you have at least level one in, in a couple of your skills so that you're, you're able to use, you know, the most basic uh, variants of your fittings, then you can kind of uh, decide what you want to do based on where your shortcomings lie. Um, if you feel like you're dying a lot, um, start putting a couple points into uh, better modules. Or if uh, you're doing all right, start specking into better large turrets. Um, something that... Uh, is one of my favorite modules that I like to use is uh, uh, active heat sinks, and I'm an armor tank, so I can I can fit them really well. Whereas a shield tank might want to go with a passive heat sink, but um, for blaster tanks, uh, hybrid weapons like railguns and blasters, they have uh, so heat generation. So I'm on a blaster turn fire. right now. For the, for the people that right. don't know, I'm on a blaster turn right now. Right. Um, blaster turrets and railgun turrets generate heat as you fire them and uh, if you overheat your gun it sucks because you're just not going to be able to fire for a little bit and that can really hurt you in a tank battle so watching and maintaining your heat is very important um, and these passive and active heat sinks can really go a long way to uh, you know just help you maintain that heat control and uh, to get the first level of that you need uh, turret upgrades which you can start specking into once you get turret operations to level Enemy two. Uh, where is it? Enemy it's down. No, it's almost down. Um, so weapon upgrades are really good to get. For uh, shield tanks, um, they don't use their low slots uh, for their survival mods, so they're free to also pack on a bunch of dam damage mods if they're using railguns or something, and that lends its way to making some really badass sniper fits if they want. Um, so, you know, really, it's uh, tanks have a lot of stuff that you can do as far as the fittings. And uh, it's, it's really up to personal preference, I guess you could say. Um, I really like my uh, active heat sink. I also have a scanner on my tank to help out my squad mates if, you know, they're trying to find red dots you know, in situations like this where they're just so scattered out because we're just basically killing them too fast. Um, but I guess the tank fitting I'm using right now is I've got three uh, active armor hardeners, um, and that way I can rotate them, and at any one point in time I will always have two hardeners active at the same time, giving me a constant 50% armor resistance uh, to damage or slightly less than 50%, because when you stack multiple of the, the same mod, there's a stacking penalty. Um, so uh, so basically, I mean, to a person somebody just starting out, man, this is a, you know, they would think that getting in a tank would just be like Battlefield 3, get in a tank, start killing people, having fun, you know, but it's actually quite complicated, huh? It, it can be <laughs> very, very complicated. There's a lot of stuff to, uh, to know in this game and to learn. People always knock Eve for being internet spreadsheets, you know, and spaceships. Well, Dust is basically, you know, an FPS with spreadsheets. There's there's a lot to uh, 
kind of wrap your head around there's it. There's a third orbital, know. guys. Didn't mean to Wonderful. Off. Three orbitals in a round. That's three orbitals is is a good average to to set every round. You know that you're on fire, doing pretty good if you hit that mark. Yeah. Um, so what is, as a tank driver, what is your uh, what is the your nemesis out here on the field? What is your kryptonite? What 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 is it that just makes you crunch your teeth whenever you know that it's around? Anti vehicle weapons and installations. Installations suck. Um, they deal a lot of damage, and when there's somebody in them and they're gunning for you, uh, and you, you're not ready for it, it can really hurt your tank. Um, those are pretty simple to deal with. Just blow them up, or have a blue dot hack them, or whatever. Um, you know, and you just you got to be aware of where the installations are on the map and be ready for them. Um, but AV weapons are, are the real thing that will, you know, ruin your day, especially proto AV weapons, and. Um, what, what about the packed grenades? Do you like those? <laughs> <laughs> packed grenades are evil. They 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 really really suck. Um, the best way that I've found to deal with AD weapons is don't be a hero. Don't try and sit there and tank their onslaught of AD fire because um, a lot of times it's just not going to go your way. The best way to deal with AV is to shoot a couple guys if you can, knock them out, shoot them in the face. But if, if they're hiding behind the wall or something, just, uh, you know, get out of there. Because um, that way, if they're really trying to blow you up, they have to chase you. And if you're on the other side of the map now, if they want to find you, they have to chase you across the entire map. They have to cross the entire map through your blue dots. And if they have AV weapons, they don't have assault rifles. And they're probably going to die to blue dots unless they're really, really good at what they do. Um, so it, it's kind of utilizing your team to take out your AV for you. And if they chase you down, well, okay, that's about a minute, two minutes that they spent chasing you down, and all you got to do is just go to the other side of the map. Um, you're in the tank. You're much faster than they are. Um, yeah, that that's my problem running AV because, you know, the corporation I'm in is sub You know, we put an emphasis on everybody, you know, equip AV, you know, that's... It's the only line of defense right now is for against you know tanks and two tanks like you guys are running right now. I mean, is it, it, it's a pain in the ass trying to even bring them down. You know, it's a, it's a major headache. I mean, I could tell you, I would be more than likely I would be back here. Uh, I don't know what I would be doing right now. I'd probably be pretty pissed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because um, tanks tanks are very important. I I would say. Um, Tanks can't do it all, you know. They're not OP. They're 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 certainly vulnerable to the right types of situations, and people need to realize that just because you're in a tank doesn't mean that you're going to be god mode. Um, tanks require infantry support, but then you know, in really tough matches, infantry require tank support. It, it's a symbiosis. Um, See, yeah. and it requires you know teamwork, you know, from both sides to keep tanks and infantry alive. And a tank's presence so on the map can really, you know, have an effect on the battle. Ted, you haven't said anything this match. Is there anything you want to add before it's over? It looks like this uh, clone counter and everything's uh, ticking down pretty low. I was on push to talk, man. Oh, that's all right. Is there anything you want to add before this is over with, man? I don't even think he hears me, man. No, he does. Maybe trying to kill somebody there... right now. But either way, um, you know, just be smart dealing with AV. They're designed to take you out. So, you know, they will kill you. Um, this is well, almost that over. Was, that you was good. Uh, <laughs> I know you got a very little frame here. If you got anything else you want to add, man, we're going to check out the scoreboard and the commentary. Of the world, you know? um, I guess I'd just say that, uh, you know, just be smart with tanks. Uh, you, you really have to think with tanks and be aware of, where the AV is on the field, you always have to be on the lookout. If you ever hear a bolus coming in, check to see if it's a tank. Um, because everybody wants you dead, and you have to play realizing that. Um, well, guys, there you yeah. have it. That is uh, Tank 101 with STB. Uh, I will bring some more videos like this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. In the audio, I'm sorry about it. For some reason, uh, CCP did an audio patch, and that's why it's kind of crackly. It doesn't sound as clear. Hopefully, they'll get that squared away to where... We can do better commentaries or whatnot, and 
with that said, I appreciate appreciate everybody that stopped by and check out this video, and uh, hope that everybody has a wonderful day. I appreciate well, you for taking your time over. doing it. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and no problem, man.